Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture on surgical anatomy of the breast. This is the second lecture on surgical anatomy. The nipple and areola contains involuntary muscle arranged in concentrated rings as well as uh, radically. So, the nipple and the areola, it has the involuntary muscles which respond in sympathetic parasympathetic system and it arrange in both concentratic ring as well as radially now see the circular muscle fiber this one the circular muscle fiber it constitutes surface muscle and it causes erection of the nipple so only this point this is the circular muscle so circular muscle of the breast it causes erection of the nipple so uh, during any type of the autonomic stimulation a special type of the autonomic stimulation this circular muscle causes contraction and this is responsible for the erection of the nipple and here the longitudinal muscle and you can see the longitudinal muscle from the myers muscle and it causes the retraction of the nipple so this two point very very important we have to remember one is the circular muscle then circular muscle it is responsible for the erection of the nipple and the longitudinal muscle fiber this longitudinal muscle fiber is responsible for retraction of the nipple Areola epithelial contains numerous sweat gland and sebaceous gland and the secretion from the sweat and sebaceous gland it keeps wily and it prevents friction during the suckling reflex of the breast and these glands are enlarged during the pregnancy and serve to lubricate the nipple during the lactation and this enlargement of the sweat and sebaceous gland is known as the Montgomery's tubercle. So the Montgomery's tubercle, it is nothing but enlarged sweat gland and enlarged sebaceous gland. So enlarged sweat gland, enlarged sebaceous gland, they are known as the Montgomery's tubercle. And the circular muscle, it causes erection. Longitudinal muscle, it causes a retraction. So among this slide, these highlighted uh, red lines are very very important. So it is snapshot from the Bailey and Lab book and here we can see the different part and the lymphatics the lymphatics of the breast it uh, drains predominantly into the axillary lymph node and internal mammary lymph node so the most important area for draining the lymph node is the axillary and internal mammary lymph node and the axillary lymph node it serves as the sentinel lymph node and the axillary node it receives approximately 85 percent so most of the lymphatics are of the breast they turn into the axillary group of the lymph node and it is 85 percent that means most of the lymphatics they drain into the axillary group of the lymph node in case of breast and they are arranged in different groups such as the lateral group as you can see this is the lateral group and the axillary lymph node Group, they are grouped in five groups usually first of all see the lateral group then anterior group posterior group central or medial group and the apical group of the, the limb node so again and among them the anterior limb node is very very important the anterior limb node or pectoral limb node because it acts as a sentinel sentinel limb node so the anterior limb node or pectoral limb node they are the sentinel limb node and this limb node is very very important because any tumor or any cancer which is spread from the breast it first goes to the anterior limb node or pectoral limb node so the any limb node which drains from the organ first then it is called sentinel limb node and it is in case of breast it is the anterior or pectoral group of the limb node then posterior central and apical in case of central or medial group uh, it is also known as the inter pectoral group of the limb node or rotors node so this point also important that the rotors node it also known as the inter pectoral node that means it lies within the two pectoral muscle that means the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor minor muscle and also it is known as the medial group or 
central group so medial group or central group it is the interpectoral group and also it known as the rotors node and this is the snapshot from Bailey and Love showing the different group of the limb node and you can see this is the lateral node anterior node posterior node central medial or node interpectoral or rotors node and apical group of the limb node actually this central or medial group this is one group and the interpectoral and rotors they are the another group and here we can see the lateral group the lateral and limb node group it is uh, located along the axillary vein so if uh, uh, you get some uh, time to spend with this limb node so you can uh, read the different vessels along the limb node group and here you can see the limb node group during the axillary dissection of the breast they are divided in the three limb node group one is the level one second one level two and level three so during the mastectomy or breast removal surgery the three important limb node group is very very important level one group of limb node level two group of limb node and level three group of the limb node in case of level one it is located below and lateral so level one limb node group it lies below and it lies lateral so level one group of limb node it lies below and lateral to the pectoralis minor muscle so here the central point is the pectoralis minor and this the group are uh, usually done in center of the pectoralis minor muscle or re relating the location of the pectoralis minor muscle so level on group it uh, located below and lateral to the pectoralis minor muscle and level two group this level two two group is located at the site of the pectoral pectoralis minor muscle here we can see it is front of the pectoralis minor or behind of the pectoralis minor so again the pectoralis minor muscle so at the level of the pectoralis minor muscle this is the level 2 group of the limb node and in case of level 3 it is above and medial to the pectoralis minor muscle so the level 1 level 2 level 3 it is divided by the pectoralis minor muscle and most lateral it is level 1 at the level of the pectoralis minor muscle it is level 2 and above the pectoralis muscle major minor muscle it is the level 3 so it is a direct snapshot from the Bailey lab uh, showing the level 1 level 2 and level 3 group of the limb node and in this picture it is clear that this muscle is the pectoralis minor muscle so this is a muscle which is the pectoralis a minor muscle and this is the medial side this is the lateral side so level one group it lies laterally level two group of limb node it lies at the level of the pectoralis minor and level three is located above the pectoralis minor muscle so it is all about the surgical anatomy of the breast thank you all